Ahead of Saturday's governorship election in Ondo State, the Chief of Defense Staff, General, uh, General Christopher Musa, has met with troops of the 32 Artillery Brigade and other security agencies to ensure the polls is devoid of violence. Senior correspondent Sarah Yeko has the story. Flags flown at half-mast in honor of Lieutenant General Tawarid Lagbaja. But for the troops, the show of force for the Ondo State governorship election must go on. The Chief of Defense Staff inspects the quarter guard at 32 Artillery Brigade, his visitors to ascertain the troops' level of preparedness in Saturday's election. In support of the Nigerian police force, the CDS maintains that security agencies will be non-partisan and impartial in their role in Saturday's election. Ondo State will be secured. Their security is guaranteed. Nobody is going to intimidate them. Uh, the security forces are working like a team. It's a teamwork. We are one family as Nigerians. I want to appeal to all Nigerians, especially all of the um, good people of Ondo State, that they should all come out in mass to vote for whom they want. It is important that they come out so that they can vote for people that will make a difference for them. And our own job is to ensure that we provide that enabling environment to do that, and we're going to do that. Those that are not Nigerians, they should not move close to the, any polling youth, any polling unit, they should not be there, they should not allow themselves to be used to manipulate the election. Election is only for Nigerians, not for non-Nigerians. Shortly after the Chief of Defence Staff left the 32 Artillery Brigade, the police held a non-security meeting, this time for about two hours. For the police, a comprehensive threat analysis has been conducted and deployment of all special units and police force is ongoing. When asked where the flashpoints for these elections were, this was the response the DIG gave. Your security is guaranteed as far as I'm concerned during the election period. It's our duty to provide security for you. And those of us who are served with our responsibility have been able to carry out our comprehensive threat analysis, which is going to, you know, shape our you know, security and placement that will guarantee your safety. So you don't worry. Just count on us that uh, adequate security is going to be provided in those areas we have regarded as uh, flashpoints or area of concern. A strong assurance of peace and order coming from security agencies for more than two million voters who are ready to go out and elect the next governor of Ondo State. The question is, will this number of personnel deployed for this election, will it scare or encourage voters to come out on election day? We will know in a few hours. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News, Akure. A senior reporter, Ayodeji Moradeyo, is joining me on the news. Ayodeji, talk to us about, you know, it's just less than 24 hours to election. Uh, what, what is the mood of the electorate, or let's say generally the residents of Ondo State, as they go to the poll tomorrow to elect the next governor? Can you hear me? Ayodeji Moradeo, I'm trying to find out what the uh, situation is like in Ondo State. How are the people preparing for tomorrow? Well, I'm afraid we lost. Ayodeji, I understand that you, you're there now. Can you hear me? Uh, trying to, okay, I understand that Deji is actually responding to my question. Ayo, please carry on. As you can see, the Australian bosses are currently going on here. Uh, trading activities by traders, they are all here. We can see the tricycle operators, the motorcyclists, they are all operating. And they are expected uh, to come all out to exercise their franchise on Saturday. Let me tell you that a total of 2.5. One million uh, registered voters there are, 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 have been done by INEC. And out of these, we have 1.7 million voters who have uh, their cards and they will be using these as their power to select who becomes uh, the governor of the state. So it has been peaceful here in Akure. Everything, everything is going on peacefully. The traders are going about their trading activities without any molestation. It has been blowing, blaring of Sarin since uh, uh, yesterday, government officials, policemen and other security 
agency. So far, so good. It is peaceful, and the people are expected to come all out. I spoke with some of them uh, in Akure here, and they told me that they will be coming out. They are not nursing any fear that the policemen that will be deployed uh, to, to cover the election, that they should just be peaceful. And they are also expecting the electoral body uh, to also be peaceful. I have one of them here who is here uh, with me. He wants to share his experience if he's going to come out uh, tomorrow uh, for the election. Let me capture your name. Who are you? My name is David Olushola. Mr. David, Saturday is the election. Yes, that's tomorrow. So are you going to come out to come and exercise your franchise? Sure. Sure, I will. I will vote. I, I vote at uh, Ward 4. Unit 36, so I will be voting tomorrow. So, let me ask you, what are you expecting from the electoral body, Independent National Electoral Commission? Uh, just as you have said, we expect the INEC to be independent, being an independent National Electoral Commission. So we expect them to be independent tomorrow, to, be, to conduct a free and fair election, so that after the election, the winners and the losers will accept the result of the election. So, from the police and other security agencies, what are your expectations like? Uh, I think uh, the, the, secu the security outfit in uh, Akure has been beefed off and I think they are doing their job. It is their normal duty to secure lives and property in case of any uh, thing that may want to disrupt the election tomorrow. So I think uh, they are here to do their normal duty. And for others, what do you have to tell them? Uh, I will tell everyone to be calm and to go about doing the normal thing. If you don't have any skeleton in your cupboard or if you are not planning to disrupt the election, I don't think you should, uh, you should be scared of the, of, the, of the security that are moving around to secure lives and property. You've heard it from one of the voters. He has sure that he's coming out and he has also told others come out and exercise your franchise. Over to you, Ibrahim, in Lagos. Mario, thank you so much for the update. Thank you. We keep close tabs with you. Thank you.